Geek Dad Life presents Toy Geeks Live Toy Talk Show. Tonight we're talking about what's next for HasLab with the incoming Marvel Legends set potentially being a Ghost Rider, as well as the future for Star Wars, HasLabs, and whether or not they'll add any more tears to the already successful Hiss Tank. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Toy Geeks. My name is Jay, and with me, as always, is my good friend, John. John, how are you doing tonight? Doing well. How are you, Jay? Doing well. Doing. You, you froze there for a millisecond, but then, but then you came back online. <laughs> <laughs> um, pumped to be here uh, with you all. Uh, tons of things to talk about. Uh, just before, maybe an hour before... Uh, we went online, uh, or for this show we just started, uh, 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 an end cap with some new superpowers figures. We got to talk about that. We got to talk about people's uh, G.I. Joe orders getting mangled um, and and so much more. But I think the main topic tonight for what is next for the HasLab uh, is a good one um, as we still dissect a lot of things that have been uh, coming out of Comic-Con. Uh, we've also got a Stump John tonight, which we haven't done in a while. And... Uh, we've got some giveaways because it's the end of the month and it is time uh, to do some giveaways. But before I say any of that, let's say hello to the chat. It is hopping as always. We got Rick Cavabianco, Automaton, Map Room Gaming, they call me, uh, JFK, Angel, Cobweb, Nelson, Doomed Huh is in the house. We've also, did, did I do Map Room? I'll do it again. Drifter Comic, Phineas Bog, Toy Geek Source, Space Cowboy. Uh, I thought it was stupid, but whatever. We still won. Mike Giarlico, Asherman, Polly, King Panther. Uh, we've also got Michael Miller in the house. Free Rain is here as well. Chris, Toy Connection. <laughs> John saw some juice left for Toy Geeks and Gino after dark. Yeah, John, you are doing a marathon of streams today. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, Mike Hex, Larry's Geeky World, Jason, uh, Evil Villain is here as well as Migo Hulk. Uh, we've got uh, David Phineas, I'll do him again. Thanos Copter, Heroes and Villains, Comics 80, Andy Silva, Mecha Man Blade is here as well. Smedberg, Vince, Papa Loco, Black Phoenix, Jack Knight, uh, and so many more. It is hopping. Tony Taylor. Ooh, I got my I got my Phantasm uh Metro Mutagen Ooze Turtle on Friday. I'm so pumped for that one. 60 bit misfit treasure for uh trigger BTG is in the house, Chris Esposito Lab Rat. And so many more. Uh, more. Hello, everybody. Excited to be here. Whew. All right. So it is a uh, end of the month, which is usually when we do a giveaway for our patrons. And mm -hmm. uh, friend of the channel and, and patron, uh, Matt Bush, uh, sent in. Uh, he, he, when I potentially was not going to have any uh, one Dars, he sent one. And I thought it was only fair that we give away a one dar tonight to one of our lucky patrons. So uh, for any of our patrons right now, you will be entered in a raffle to win this at the end of this episode. Uh, anyone can enter or become a, a patron while we do this. And I'll make sure you get included geek dad life slash patreon.com. And you'll be able to win this still sealed in the shipper box one dar. And uh, it could be yours. And awesome I, yeah exactly uh so that is giveaway number one so if you aren't a patron yet become one for five bucks uh and and more all right so that's that's giveaway number one john in number chat, one number one in the chat i said uh you know it, there's gonna be a light goal today and you're gonna want to get your likes in early so if we hit three uh, matt bush also sent two superpowers batman so if we hit 300 likes i'll give away this to anybody i'll, I'll put a, a a form in the chat anybody that's watching this right now, you do not need to be a patron you don't need to be anything other than watching and entering so if we hit 300 likes i will give away this superpowers batman which is nice cool. but i'm gonna i'm gonna raise the stakes here it is okay if we get hold on oh, wait wait I don't want to lose it. If we get 400 likes, John, we've never gotten 400 likes in an episode before. There's only 200 something people watching right now. Mm -hmm. We usually pick some up as we go along. If we get 400 likes in today's episode while we're airing, I will give away, instead of the superpowers Batman, I will give away another one, Dar. 
Another one dar. Another one dar to anybody. To anyone. So, uh, one dar for the patrons. One dar for anyone. Uh, but we got to get three or sorry, four hundred likes to unlock the one dar giveaway. That's one dar full. Whew, that's pretty cool. Uh, or I, I think it's pretty cool. That's uh, it you is. Know. All you got to so, do is be watching and, and hit and that hit like button. button. We gotta get 400 likes for that. That's a that's a steep goal. We've never gotten 400 likes live. We've gotten 400 likes after the fact. Um, but giving away one dars. Uh, yeah, I got. <laughs> how many for Jay to dress as a one dar? Uh, 500. <laughs> oh my god! And then one last thing, and then we'll get into it here because I know people that like aren't regular viewers of the show are like oh my god just get to the topic i apologize um youtube has been hounding me to do the memberships thing the channel memberships thing we have a patreon i don't really want to delude that but uh i said i would give them a chance uh, we're going to do a little bit something different than the, the patreon and basically have something that is a way if you want to help contribute to the channel get some fun little perks um, but it, it's be be like the super inexpensive uh, level way you can support this channel. And that'll be the YouTube channel membership. So uh, if you go to the Geek Dad Life page, there is now a join button here. So if you click on that join button, uh, you can see it here. Calling it GDL Family. That's just what I came up with. It's probably not the best name. But it's for 99 cents a month. So just for 99 cents... Uh, you get a cool badge next to your name in the live chat or in any comment. And then for each month, there's like like the longer you're a member, you get like new badges. So you can have a cool number next to your name for how long you've been a member. And there's custom emojis uh, that you can use. You also get exclusive photo status updates. And then what I really liked as well is you get your own highlighted message once a month. So it's kind of like a super chat. So it'll show up in a different color in the chat and you can use one once a month. I know a lot of people love using the super chats. Um, oh, there we go. We got a new oh, member comics right comics. there. Boom. Uh, so yeah. So for 99 cents, uh, you could do that and you'll get a cool little icon next to your name and uh, we'll have fun with it. If it's, if it's not cool and we all hate it, we can just end it. But for 99 cents, eh, I figured it'd be fun. Um, uh, comics. You are the first uh, while we're live. I think Kayla did it on a, whim before we did this uh but you are the first official during the show since it was officially announced uh charlie weaver uh tons of new members it's okay i i don't know i this is my first time using it so if it's stupid then we'll stop but uh for 99 cents i was like yeah hopefully that's not if you still don't want to send any money that's fine you don't have to but if you want to become a channel member for 99 cents and you get cool badges and uh, exclusive super chats and stuff like that um so oh matt hatter is one as well thank you matt hatter <laughs> jason is too mike giarlico uh took that from kayla too uh darth i'm a gdl cultist <laughs> <laughs> nolan is one as well this is uh great so great response there uh and uh not sure where why there's no but i don't if you go to the page, maybe refresh it if it's the old page but it should be a join button and you click join, and uh, and there you go. Uh, see, K Kayla got, <laughs> and for all we know, is all, yeah, I again, I didn't announce it. Actually, I did in the Discord, so maybe that's how she found it. Um, but uh, anybody that becomes a member, I'll, I'll plus you into the chat as well. That's pretty cool. So you go to the front page, join, 99 cents. Uh, I think by the time YouTube takes all the money, I think we'll get like 50 cents or something. And after taxes, it'll probably be like a quarter, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Just have fun with it. It's a little thing. Um, okay. Uh, or, yeah, next to subscribe on a regular window. Oh, thank you. I guess this is my page and it's not going to look the same. But, anywho, okay, there you go. Uh, one of us, one of us indeed. All right, John, enough of this GDL cult stuff. <laughs> but, oh, got another new member. Thank you. Thank you. Ivy Dog. Um, GDL for life, nacho cheese. Did I get nacho cheese? Did I miss nacho cheeses? I got a. There we go, nacho cheese as well. They're, we they're coming in hot. Yeah, they're coming in. This is the uh, response is great. Slave to Leia, Michael Miller, Ryan Fralick. Um, yeah, Kevin. Yeah, if you use it. Oh, why is it not working on this thing? That's stupid. Um, I think it's just colon Kevin colon, and you can do the Kevin face. 
Um, but I'll figure that one out. Space Cowboy is as well. Um, but boom. Okay. And I'll just keep plessing them in as you all become new members here. Okay, John. Haslabs, let's talk about them. I feel really bad. Uh, <laughs> um, the uh, I feel really bad because Brian Brink, who has made these fantastic graphs that we have been using. Mm-hmm. Um, Oh, it shows up on YouTube chat. Okay, I got to figure that out why the, the stream here doesn't do it because that's pretty uh, silly. Um, let's, did you guys get, just get paid or something? No, it, I, again, it's 99 cents. And it, by the time YouTube takes a cut, I think the channel will get 50 cents uh, when it's all said and done. So I'm not going to give them that much money. So 99 cents, you get some cool deals here. Uh, I feel like a star belly sneeches now. <laughs> chat. Thank you, Jason. Um, but anyway, uh, let's. Oh, but anyway, so Brian made all these charts for us, right? But while I was in Comic-Con, we took two Sundays off for Toy Geeks. So this is the first time we've done a Toy Geeks on Sunday proper in like Mm -hmm. three weeks. Um, And thank you, Toy Art, for coming a member as well. Um, So the um, uh, Brian, every single Sunday, so the Sunday I was in San Diego and the last Sunday, sent a full sheet and doc of everything of all the stuff. And then I, every time I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry, Brian. <laughs> We're not doing this. <laughs> so, Brian, thank you so much uh, for uh, for doing those. And we will get to one of your fantastic charts um, today. But the first step, this was announced at Comic-Con. or kind of teased at Comic-Con. But apparently the next HasLab is going to be a Marvel Legends uh, HasLab that it is clearly going to be a ghost writer. I'll play this clip. They posted on their Facebook uh, later this week, Marvel legends series. And it closes with this 50 years logo mm-hmm. or um, ghost writer. Now, thank you, Andy and Armando. Um, I said, I no worries. Yeah, I made the trust. Okay, good, good. And yeah, uh, check uh, Brian brings podcasts, his YouTube channel, uh, all of the above. Uh, great stuff so i was kind of surprised or i am surprised if it does end up being ghost rider mm-hmm. if that's the next has i think there was other ones you know and we're theorizing and stuff that were probably uh you know higher in the order but you know i think there's a lot of cool stuff that could happen with that but john what's your thoughts here um See, I I know we talked about this. I I know very little about Ghost Rider. Sure. And I feel like it's one of those uh he's one of those characters that like a lot of people love him and yep. a lot of people still don't really know anything about him because they just never got into Ghost Rider. Yep. But then there's also that um there's there's more than one Ghost Rider. It's not like you know, it's not like Mr. Fantastic where he's like, yep. "Well, that's just Mr. that that's the one." That's yep. there's just one. There's Mm -hmm. been so many throughout time. Absolutely. And, you know, each version has their their motorcycle, the horse, the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and honestly, that's about all I know about Ghost Rider. I just said it all right there. (laughs) (laughs) But I but it's I personally feel like a lot like whether you're a Marvel fan or not, like that seems to be like a common thing, you know, going after a Ghost Rider has lab might be might be a stretch it might be the first marvel um agency has lab that doesn't exceed in numbers but mm-hmm. would will still you know surpass the goals but it won't be like yeah. you know 35,000 40,000 in numbers mm-hmm. but regardless i still think it's going to be awesome yeah 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 it's it's curious to say they've kind of to your point they've landed in this the only one that's been sub three hundred dollars was the um, the Transformers uh, one, right? That was a one seventy five. Yep. And did I get Brandon three G? Make sure I press this in. Uh, thank you, I Brandon three G. Um, yeah. The I think ideally this is another sub two hundred dollar. Like I feel like it should be one seventy five. Mm-hmm. Unless, and people are, are putting here in the chat, and I, I'd love to hear everybody's 
um uh you know thoughts uh totally our dead thank you for becoming a member as well as craig thank you for becoming a member um sky striker was 230 thank you thank you rob so okay but still sub 200 we've only had one so i i feel like and i know there's like the muscle car um and and many others but mm -hmm. i feel like everyone's gonna want the motorcycle right even if the muscle car is cool we're gonna want the motorcycle and it's the most iconic thing uh thank you a trevor for gonna remember um it's but the most iconic thing that I, I i think that's the one that everybody wants even though as far as a HasLab goes, I think you'd want it to be, you know, the 69 Charger, right? Like, just to mm -hmm. be a cool car. Um, as our niece says, studios, finally, bag of bones on fire. fire. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. <laughs> um, it, it wasn't that long ago that they did a, a Ghost Rider with a motorcycle. And I, don't, and I don't mean the Cosmic Ghost Rider, but there was one, I want to say maybe as recent as 2017 mm -hmm. you know when they started doing the motorcycle packs where yep. like black widow with the motorcycle yeah. um yeah. was there a punisher one maybe that sounds right and um you know like the squirrel girl set where and unless they're going to do you know like an ultimate set where it's like uh johnny blaze mm -hmm. his name danny ketch maybe Mm -hmm. um where they each had different motorcycles yes. and the hell charger yeah like if they want to do like a like an all-in set like all the mm -hmm. all the riders yeah and all of their rides yes where i think that makes the most sense like mm -hmm. will it be expensive yeah probably yeah but the the figure and bike sets they had been selling for 40 dollars. that's what yep. the retail was yeah exactly so yeah. let's look at johnny blaze for 40 bucks mm-hmm and there is a good point to that because it's it's celebrating the 50 years of of the character, mm -hmm. the Ghost Rider character. So it would make sense. You're celebrating 50 years. It's a set that kind of spans the, you know, the generations of Ghost Riders. Right. I think um, I think that's what that would make the most sense for yes. a um Haslab. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, Red Foreman with a five or four nine super chat. Thank you for that. Uh, hopefully Johnny and Danny is part of this. Otherwise, I am out. Right? There's this element of you need to get the core, you know, just it, the his tank. It works well because it's like one of the iconic vehicles. Everybody knows it. Even if you're not a huge GI Joe fan, you probably know the vehicle and it just connects. Like mm -hmm. you need to have a bit of that. You need to have the fan service. You need to somehow. It's the thing that Star Wars hasn't been nailing lately. But mm -hmm. it's the thing some of the other sets have, where it's like it's the most iconic thing. So it's going to attract even the casuals, right? You want to probably hit the casuals. Yeah. Um, and uh, Judy, thank you for becoming a member. And I know we got another member here, Matt Bush, a member as well, the, the person that gave us uh, our awesome giveaways today. Um, but but yeah, I I to me it needs to be a bit of <laughs> final stretch goal forgiveness for August. <laughs> <laughs> um but uh nick i agree there's no way you do it without johnny blaze but they've already done them so unless you know it's a giant like with and they just led this thing out to like crazy where all the flames are working flames mm -hmm. and the ghost rider head is led down and it has you know light up flames <laughs> right like unless they go that crazy right yeah it, it would have to be like like you said, like everything in clear plastic with integrated lighting to make it look mm -hmm. like the flames are dancing, and yeah, it that would be that would be amazing. Yep. Um, and there's so many caveman ghost rider who rides a mammoth, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and they haven't done Danny's bike yet, so that'd be sweet. Um, and so, <laughs> and and honestly, I'm kind of feeling this way too. I'm actually thankful I can take a pause on has this next round because I think that's something that's a, that's an element here. Tony Taylor, I agree. Nick Cage head accessory arm out. Nick Cage should be like the the ultimate stretch goal. That should be absolutely the final stretch goal. Because I got to be completely honest. If they throw Nick Cage in there, I may have to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> If they if they if they say that Nick Cage is the stretch goal, 
Mm-hmm. Like, you know, they have to hit 18,000. Yep. Nick Cage himself would probably back 18,000 pieces. <laughs> 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 you're if, right if, if anyone is th- there's nobody else that is more self-aware than nick cage and he would be so into this <laughs> that's brilliant that is brilliant oh my god john i think you just cracked the code it, this all makes sense now you make yep. the, the eighteen thousand goal a nick cage unlock and then nick cage himself buys them all to have eighteen thousand nick cage <laughs> Hey, he, he's he's done crazier things before with his purposes, and and that's exactly why it would be right up his alley. <laughs> oh my God, John, that's brilliant, <laughs> brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Um, but Wolf the Wicked brings up a good point here. All I can say is hope this doesn't drop the same time as Eternia. So let's talk about how this when this thing is going to drop, mm-hmm. because we have PulseCon coming up. They have opted to continue doing that, even though conventions are back in full swing. Um, and it's going to be in the fall, right? It's, a, it's in October. I think they announced the dates. We'll do our normal HasLab coverage here on Toy Geeks. I got to send out the bat signals. I'm sure we'll have Mad Hatter on. I'm sure if I get in touch with uh, Dan Larson early enough, I'm sure we can get him on. Um, but uh, that, the last year, I think was a trial balloon. They did three HasLabs at once. Mm-hmm. And one didn't make it. The Rancor didn't make it. Two were very successful. The Proton Pack and the uh, the Sky Striker. Now, the Galactus was around this time last year. Yep. His tank ends August 15th. Do you think the Marvel Legends one is then going to drop in that mid-August to mid-September so it's cleared out in time for PulseCon and maybe they'll have the third one like do you think maybe they they have looked at what happened last year and they're spreading them out now so june to august was gi joe uh august to october is maybe this marvel legends one and then october to december is a third one Mm -hmm. or we've already had star wars so who does that leave um if they do another transformers i guess transformers yeah not going to do Ghostbusters, I would assume, because Ghostbusters was crickets at uh, Comic Con. Yeah, and I mean, unless they're going to save something for PulseCon, unless they're saving that that nugget of doing a a trap or a PKE or something. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I I really don't think that they will. They'll they'll stack them up again like they did before, all ending, you know, on what was it like December fourteenth? I think mm-hmm. that they all ended at the same time. Yep, where if like you said stacking um uh the his tank then maybe give a couple weeks breathing room before an announcement and then starting the next campaign 40 days or 45 days mm-hmm. that ends two weeks of breathing and then yep. um take us into the end of the year yep because you you got to figure like hasbro they they probably are expecting the the eternia playset to drop Yep. And now they're saying, well, we're not the only, you know, horse in this race anymore. We're for, exactly. for yep. um major toy companies doing crowdfunding mm-hmm. because on top of all the other Kickstarters that people are backing yep. from indie toy makers from yep. all over the place. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think that um they need to take inventory of their yeah. of their scheduling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, it it'd be curious to see how that plays out, right? And because to me, the the impending drop of the attorney has already sacrificed one Hasbro product for me personally. I said on the last show, uh, I think I said on the last show, maybe it was After Dark. But uh, the trailer, the Optimus Prime trailer, I canceled it. I've officially canceled it. And I'm mm-hmm. officially now selling again my, my Optimus Prime. <laughs> if he wants an Optimus Prime for less than retail, let me hit me up. Um, but uh, the... Um, and so to make sure that I have the funds for Eternia, you know, so I, I got to make sure I somehow just keep 800 bucks lying around, which it, I'm not saying that like that's easy. That is no easy task. Mm-hmm. We'll have that now because it got the his tank going to end in a couple of weeks. But um, but I have to ensure that I have those funds ready for the Eternia. 
Uh, that means I also probably, unless this ghostwriter thing is the most amazing thing in the history of the world, um, <laughs> I probably could pass on this too, because to your point, there's Eternia's on the horizon. And that is a big, big pre-order, I think, for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, but Andy, great point. But if you do a HasLab Ecto-1, six-inch scale, that is a, that is a must-buy for me as well. That is number one. Uh, but I'll have to get an attorney as well. I have to get attorney. I, so it, it is anyway. So that, that means there's choices and there's things that aren't being chosen. Yeah, this is, uh, this, this, it, I, I suppose it's the, the bad part of them not announcing everything at once, not dropping yeah. all of the, the projects at one time. Now it's the waiting of, mm -hmm. well, what, what will I buy? What, yep. what will I back? Because when we we know when they when they showed the uh the rancor the sky striker and the proton pack mm -hmm. it was like all right well i can buy two of these which ones are going to be it was it was easier mm -hmm. but now it's yeah. <laughs> now we have so much unknown oh man wolf the wicked just reminded future uh, current j of a future j problem uh pay for the thunder tank in november that's oh, no <laughs> oh no <laughs> 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 Cool. <laughs> uh, do you want to join my channel membership? <laughs> could could really use that ninety nine cents. <laughs> you no, know, uh, and on top of all the just the normal retail waves of, of numerous lines we're we're getting. Mm -hmm. This it's crazy. Yeah, uh, fudge! I forgot about Thunder Tank. I really forgot about Thunder Tank. Turtle fans, I know turtle fans aren't until next year, right? So I got time for fu uh, future J has time for turtle fans. Future Mike has time. <laughs> it's exactly <laughs> hi, future J is now your problem. <laughs> Crap. I, it's it, it did get pushed back to November, but that now means because I, I did it on uh on Big Bad Toy Store. But sometimes they're always super late on BBTS. So maybe, maybe I'll have some time. God. Sometimes it gets stuff in early though. I know. <laughs> oh Lord, maybe it's like a three-month backer for the attorney. <laughs> uh, ooh, ooh. Yes, have some is here. Hello there, indeed. Oh my God. Yeah, Blitzray, Blitzway Voltron looks really. Um, I know that uh, you you have Keaton bats already, right? I have Keaton bats, so I. And I saw it at Comic Con. I, I I'd have to look into the details. Aside from the stand, it looks mine doesn't seem any less than that one. Mm -hmm. Um, but that that Batcave computer array looked really cool. I don't know if you watched my Hot Toys yes. walk through. That looked really cool. Mm -hmm. And now that I've got you know I've got my Toy Biz Batcave next to the above my Keaton bats that. That would stack up pretty nicely on the detolf. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh Red did a super chat. I want to make sure I plus this in. Would Hasbro do a has up for Ghostbusters without any movie or series to drive up interest? That's that's where at least I think I not that I enjoy this because it was I talked about it last week. My one of my big bummers at Comic Con. And not just Hasbro, but there was very little Ghostbusters representation when there has been in the past at Comic Con. And uh, so that was a bummer. And it just seems like just based on their, and again, they had no Power Rangers at Comic-Con. They own Power Rangers. No Power Rangers at the Hasbro booth, which is kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe they're holding it for PulseCon. I don't know. But um, I, it, it would seem they're going to just hold off. They, they, some properties are like, hey, there needs to be a movie out, right? That was always the, the thing with... Um, masters of the universe right when toy group like well if we did a movie then we could do retail yeah. stuff. in a movie year we could in have retail year. which never happened <laughs> <laughs> still waiting on that movie <laughs> maybe next year when Uni universal takes over yeah um we got another member here brick something basically 99 cents uh gets you uh a badge on, on next to your name and you get to use exclusive emojis as well as uh, you get to have an exclusive color message that you get to do uh, once a month, which is kind of cool. For 99 cents. Why not? 
So what? Who cares? <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, I think um, mm. well, Ta- we'll, Tasman has a good question for a newcomer. Where, where did it? Where, who is it? Here we go. Can someone explain to me how Haslabs works? Do I have to back the item if I want want it, or can I buy it at no? Yeah, so you cannot buy it after it has been backed. No, nope. it it's, is. It's uh, a very long pre-order. Yep, essentially, pretty much. And you know, I I've already run into the regret. I have regrets that I didn't get Galactus. Seeing it in person, um, I have regrets. But at the time, you know, uh, and we've all had this probably as toy collectors. I didn't have the funds. Um, just willy nilly. And uh, I was trying to sell some stuff, and the things didn't sell in time, so I didn't have the money. It just didn't work out. I didn't have an extra, was it three fifty or whatever, no, mm-hmm. to drop on it at the time. So I had to make the tough choice and be like, I, I got a Sentinel. I don't need a Galactus. But I, now I, now I, that, now, now I want I that Galactus. Mm-hmm. I want it bad. So if anybody has an extra Galactus, I'll pay a premium over whatever it is, an extra one. Just hit me up. <laughs> and, then, I and, and, then, and then and then you'll figure questions. out the Thunder Tank problem. <laughs> <laughs> and his tank. <laughs> Thank God we bought paid for the Mondos in advance. Thank God. But that's the thing. Like I saw the Battle Cat there. If it's six hundred bucks, I can't do that. No. But it's. <sighs> It's got to be at least five hundred. I'm going to guess five hundred bucks. I know. I think I said four hundred, but Phineas asked, "Jay, did you really try? Still have all the kids? <laughs> I've, got, I've got colleges to pay. Like, there's, there's too, too much, too much stuff. Trade Galactus for an Optimus. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I would, I would trade a Galactus for an Optimus if somebody wants the self-transforming Optimus. That's a good deal because that's like I spent like seven hundred dollars on that. Mm-hmm. Was it seven hundred, seven fifty? Probably after shipping. So if you got extra Galactus, I'll trade you a self-transforming Optimus. Pretty, uh, pretty it's good. A good deal. Yeah. It's, it's a, a real good deal. It's a good deal. Let me know. Let me know. Uh, super chat for one Durler. Thank you, C and J, uh, for that. Um, is that how, I said? <laughs> how much is subscribe to Jay's OnlyFans? <laughs> These are the only. This is my OnlyFans. Nobody wants to see me naked, so. <laughs> It's 99 cents to become a YouTube member or Patreon's $5. There's your options. <laughs> Geek feel life, indeed. Indeed. Oh, my God. Jay, I want it bad. That's what, Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, yeah, start encouraging your kids to go to a trade school. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe. If that's what they want to do, I'll totally support it. But we're, you know, we do the, the 529s and all that kind of stuff to make sure. If they do want to do the college route, though, they won't have to worry about it. But anyways, <laughs> Jay's only toys. <laughs> Lewd close-ups of death. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, exactly. Here's pay not to see him. <laughs> um, wait, without OnlyFans, tell us we're going <laughs> to show us the glass. Ah. <laughs> 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 Uh, wait, whoa, wait. I'd throw you if you don't be shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mega J. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, is it... <laughs> oh man. Anyway, okay. Let's let's check out this uh, this graph by Brian Brink. He did a fantastic job. We're at 400 people now. So, just a quick reminder. Get those likes in. 300 likes will give away the superpowers Batman given by Matt Bush. But if we get 400 likes, giving away a one dar to anybody in this chat or hundo, we've never gotten 400 likes in a video before. But I feel like this is a pretty good incentive to get to 400 likes. Yep. And then, don't even don't even have to be a Patreon. You don't have to be a patron, but even for our patrons, it is our patron giveaway. Mm-hmm. Five bucks. And if you haven't become a patron yet, become one. We're going to do a show after this one just for our patrons. You uh, also give you so we're giving away two one dollars if if we hit four hundred likes. <laughs> after dark is the closest you'll get to OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, ooh, Studio Hedge, thank you for calling this out. 
Flying cars, here we come. Because I did want to mention, today is July 31st, 2022. And do you know why that date's important, John? I don't. It is George Jetson's day of birth, officially. Oh. So George Jetson, of the Jetsons, Mm -hmm. flying cars, is being born today. So happy zero birthday. First (laughs) birthday. Not a first birthday. First day of birth to George Jetson. Happy birthday, George Jetson. Happy birthday, That's George. Um, yeah, especially if Kayla Silva. I would say she became the first ever uh, channel member. I don't think I've seen her yet. Maybe she is here. Should we really ticked about and say her name? But anyways, all the one dars indeed. Five hundred likes for Jadar. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, did I say five hundred likes and I dress up like one dar? I think that was a thing. Is that no a way thing? At five hundred. No way. There's no way. Remember, we did 369 once, and that was a stretch. Mm-hmm. And that, um, didn't, that didn't hit, right? We didn't hit that last week. We didn't hit it last week. But uh, when Dole was here, he made that crazy goal <clears throat> to do the, um, the giveaway. No, maybe it was less than 369. Yeah. So anyways, it's the most we'll ever do. Uh, thank you for calling us out again. Yeah, rest in peace, Nichelle Nichols um, of Star Trek. A, a, a lot of people passed away today and this weekend. So yeah, um, rest in peace to all of the legends. Um, but especially Nichelle Nichols' um, uh, icon, absolute icon. Uh, Mega J Retro with a $2 Canadian super sticker. Thank you, good sir. I'm not going to shake it for that, Mega J. Good <laughs> Lord. Uh, but, oh, Mega J is really close to 10,000. I feel mm-hmm. like he's maybe 500 away or something like that. It's creeping. It's creeping up so on it. Oh, close. You were watching this. You haven't subscribed to him yet? Go to his channel and subscribe right now. And then Matt Hatter, I think, is watching as well. He's past nine thousand now. So mm-hmm. out of our out of our crew, out of our toy tuber crew, we're real close. So let's make sure we hit that. And then I also want to give a shout out to Toy Shiz. Hit a hundred thousand followers, thousand on Instagram. Friend of the channel, really good dude. Like out of all of us that talk about toys, he works the hardest. Mm-hmm. He absolutely works the hardest, and is so deserving of that hundred thousand followers on Instagram. Um, and super, super happy uh, for him. So congratulations, Toy Shiz. Well earned and deserved. Um, just tireless. I feel like I know anything about toys or what's going on in the world of toys because of him. So kudos, 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 kudos to Toy Shiz. Um, another member. Uh, thank you, Ross, for becoming a member. Exactly. Matt Hatter's over 9,000. So come on, last thousand. We got we to gotta sprint to that ten. Uh, uh, there for Matt Hatter. It's half of those Flipper Frank. <laughs> it's half of those belong to Flipper Frank. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> uh, anyway, okay. Let's bring up this graph here by Brian Brink. Let's look at how the His Tank is doing. Now, one of the fastest rises out of any HasLab ever, but it has plateaued even after getting to see it at Comic-Con. So very quickly hit all of its tiers, 16,000. And it's kind of been just going straight on, which again, if you look at all the other ones, is pretty common, mm-hmm. right? Just the, the past ones here, we got Sentinel, Razor Crest, Proton Pack. And then there's like the last day shoot up, right? Yep. Boom, and they just blow up. Galactus, 22,000 on the last day, which is insane, right? Reva Saber, hold on, let me get give it the official. <laughs> Didn't do anything. We'll, we'll close with Star Wars. So I it definitely will jump, like all, like again, historically, uh, toy, you know, toy retailers and stuff like that. They will, they will throw in, and there will be a last day jump, yep. right? Mm-hmm. Um, so that's that's coming. But my question to you, John, is since it is a little steady, um, it's in the middle of August. So we got two weeks left. Do you think? Oh, Russian, thank you for becoming a Patreon member. Thank you so much. You will get entered into the, one of the Wondars, and you'll get to join us for all the great stuff on Patreon. Your name's in the credits of each episode. Uh, you get uh, uh, the Discord, which is a ton of fun. You also get the podcast feed, so you can listen to all of our live streams as a podcast. It's the only way you can do it. And you get to join GDL After Dark, which is our live stream after this show. So thank you. 
Um, but John, do you think they will add any tears? Uh, uh, Lenny and Emily didn't really say much to any other way to say there is going to be more tears. Mm -hmm. Um, but I heard him say a few times because they talked to a lot of people at the con. They were like, it's already funded, but we'd still love more backers. Like that was as much as I love Lenny and Emily. It wasn't the best pitch to get more back. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, John, do you think there should be maybe a twenty thousand dollar tier, just something, you know, just like a little, a little something, maybe to to get it? I would assume they want more money, right? It's a company; they probably want yeah. more money. But what what do you think? One more tier? Yeah, I think I think one more tier, something easy, something like I, I said it before, like the uh, old fashioned blueprints. You know, something something that isn't going to take a lot of engineering and uh, manufacturing or tooling, something that that, you know, is, is an, a nice, easy add on something like the 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 book that um, the barge came with, mm -hmm. even though, you know, that was a book. There's a lot of printing, sure. but something like simple, something mm -hmm. simple will help this push along, you mm -hmm. know, um, but. I don't think I, I think they'd have to push it past twenty thousand. Since since they're yeah. they're they are really close to twenty thousand, mm -hmm. I would say maybe uh twenty five or thirty thousand. Yeah. This is like a second one dar giveaway level, right? Yeah. You can really push it. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do it. But um I, I think they'll still get there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean and, and I agree with Gam it, it is already a fantastic deal as it is for three hundred bucks. You're getting five figures total. Getting the driver thing that maybe four, 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 four figures. Yeah, four. I'm trying to do math <laughs> and an amazing vehicle. It's a really good deal. Um, I got a new member as well, Ray Randall. Thank you so much. It's only ninety nine cents. Mm -hmm. Like you're going to a thrift shop. You know what else would, could be fun? Similar to how they what they did in the eighties, uh, doing those accessory packs. I think they did five. Where it was just guns, helmets. Mm -hmm. Take the existing tooling for the weapons that they have. Yeah, and put them on one of the old uh, accessory pack card backs. That would be that would be awesome. BTG, I'm sorry I missed you, my friend. There's a lot there in the beginning. If so, if I missed you, I'm sorry. I'm human. I'm flawed. <laughs> Welcome to the family. Oh, I need, oh, you know what I need to do is I need to get a clip of Vin Diesel saying that. Does he say "Welcome to the family"? I know he says "family" a lot, but I gotta find something to play every I've time. I've only seen that first movie. Really, it's, it's I, something like you don't that you don't mess with the family. Family. I don't know. I'll find something, and that'll play every time somebody joins the GDL family, mm -hmm. the channel. <laughs> um, but you know, I. I, I think Bean here has a good point. It's going to hit 30000 It may hit 40000 It's already a great deal. Flipper Franks probably are going to get a few because it's it. you could piece this thing out and make a killing because they're, they're individually packaged figures. Mm -hmm. So this isn't like a figure in a, a poly bag. It's a legit thing. Um, so, yeah, I... Uh, I mean, Emily has said hard no, but I just I feel like I mean, just throw something in there. Yeah. To just just to you know, almost, they could probably double their number right now. They could. Um. <laughs> family. <laughs> yeah, it's just me I'm saying family. I can just press it every time. <laughs> Next time on Toy Geeks, we'll, we'll have that ready to go. Uh, Thirty-five thousand backers, and they'll back that ass. <laughs> <laughs> right again make it some crazy level why not if it doesn't happen then you don't get it whatever but yeah. maybe maybe it's the thing that gets it higher I, you know yeah if they said 50, 50 000 and then there's an asp yeah like it's some crazy number yeah make it crazy do 50k yeah watch those watch those backers roll in mm -hmm. agreed 20k flip wars let's go <laughs> And you know what though? A lot of a lot of flip wars went ham on on one dar, and I'm not saying it's cheap, but 
you know, they're selling between 50 and 60 bucks, right? That's not insane. That's not the most expensive Mattel Creations figure, right, John? I think Triclops is 70, isn't he? He's yeah. Busy. And I mean, that Crystal Skeletor is like over 200 bucks still. Yeah. So, you know, the, the more flip wars, the better for consumers on that one, because then the price is going to be lower on the secondary market because there's more of them. Mm hmm. So. You know, uh, I, I think it's it's an important thing uh, to look at. Look at here. Um, let's see. They do not even have the Hissink advertised on Pulse front page. I think they're unfortunately done. That's a good point, Ashman. That's a good point. Um. All right, and then let's let's close out here on the last the the losing has lab. Poor poor Riva. Uh, lightsaber did not fund. It was just a bad. It was a bad pulse. Yeah, thing. it's 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 this thing that shouldn't have even been. Shouldn't have been a, a Haslab. It should have. Mm -hmm. If it was a Haslab, it should have spun. It should have done what it's supposed yep. to do. Which I get is probably physically impossible. But still, if, you're, if it's the most expensive lightsaber ever, why not? Mm -hmm. I, they, they could have figured that out. <laughs> if they're going to make it a Haslab, figure it out. Yep, I agree. I agree. Uh, we hit 304 likes, so we have unlocked the first giveaway tonight. The Superpowers Batman from McFarlane. And uh, again, thanks to Matt Bush for sending me two. So I've got one for myself. So I'm giving away the second one. And uh, But if we hit 400, I'm changing this out for one dar. So uh, we're th there's 90 away, and I'll give away two one dars tonight. One to the patrons and one to you all. So hit the like button if you haven't done it yet. Hit it up. Jay, I will hook you up uh, with Galactus. Just need to know what the GDA... You don't have to hook me up. I will pay I will pay over retail because I know that's the fair thing or whatever. Just uh, GDL or GeekDadLife at Gmail is the is the whatever. So just, just let me know. I'll pay whatever fair price you think is fair. No need to be hooked up. Um... Josh, can I have it again? Yeah, I get 400 likes, and anybody here could win. Mm -hmm. We're at 320, the one dar at the end of the show today. Um, it, there you go, Twitter. Look, go great next to the dark side. Indeed, 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 indeed. Um, <laughs> how do you design something that spins and it can't spin? Literally, <laughs> can't spin. I don't know. Well, it was a cartoon <laughs> show, you know, like I don't know. <laughs> well, they did it on the show. Did on the show. She must have been holding something. That's true, but maybe it was CGI or something. I don't know. It 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 have to. I don't know. It's not my. It didn't get back to anyway. So who cares? Mm -hmm. But John, two. I think I said anything. Two strikes in a row for Star Wars Haslabs. If they come out with another one, mm -hmm. if probably PulseCon, it'll be announced. But. It, does it does it happen does it even happen you know i think i think they want it to happen i think they need that uh that you know what, what is it retribution to you know to like come out and and finally get a win but but they really need to uh say what what what's selling what are people looking for what are, what mm -hmm. are, what have been people asking for for years yeah. people want three and three quarter mm -hmm. it, it yeah. they did it with the barge yeah and it and it went gangbusters i did well barge barge got there mm -hmm. but but all the ones the 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 razor crest killed it yeah yeah E Ewok, I mean, there's just when we were guessing before this string of failures, it was Ewok Village Deluxe. Mm -hmm. uh, finally, do a Death Star playset, like a good one. Yep. Like, there's so many options. Do a a, a sand crawler. The sand crawler is 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 is, is been such a part of of recent Star Wars. Yep. With the with uh, Mando, mm -hmm. it's. There hasn't really been a great in scale sand crawler where yep. it's always been, uh, you know, tiny. <laughs> Next Star Wars has love is an empire his tank. Look at look at this, right? 
this is the this is the Jawa. I think we all know the the scale in in real Star Wars world of of this guy should be like the size of my my fingernail right now. Yeah. But yeah. instead, you know, this is like a one seater. <laughs> no, you're not wrong, John. You're, you, I, it, you're 100 right. It needs to be three and three quarter inch scale vehicle playset something. Mm-hmm. Um, and they seem to do it. Uh, <laughs> Rez, you guys make sense. You should never run a toy company. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I get it. Star Wars is influenced by Lucasfilm. Blah 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 blah. All right, I understand, but I'm just saying. You have two swing and misses. You gotta, you gotta go to the bread and butter on number three. Mm-hmm. Um, three is a quarter inch scale. Well, I mean, the, the the BMF is pretty good, and it's still not quite to scale. They had to kind of adjust the cockpit to be a little bit bigger than scale, but mm-hmm. I think so. That to me is a. I don't need it to be much bigger than that, right? No, it it would be. <laughs> absurd to to do anything with at that point um yeah mega j it's a good call like you're pulling a ryan dole here did you have that ready john just pulled sound sand crawler ready to show oh i i got i got sand crawlers all over the place <laughs> do you need a sand crawler <laughs> hit up john sand crawlers <laughs> best deals on the east coast <laughs> oh my god um but anyway uh okay what's uh what should we talk about next john like we've let's we've closed the chapter on has labs um you want to do the, super, the superpowers yeah let's check out that superpowers next? news yeah so let me uh plus this in i forgot to move over from my phone so i'll do it right now but uh i first saw this on the yes have some uh facebook group um oh they have a clever name for it too what do they call it again uh Support group? No, I'm blanking on it. I'm sorry if you're watching right now. Oh, what's it called? It has a cool name. Anyways, on their their Facebook group, um, they posted this picture, and I believe this was a gent a gentleman, and I Mike Hex actually sent me the link to it, so I want to make sure I call it who I believe uh, was the person who posted this picture in pursuit of toys on Instagram. Group therapy. Good lord, thank you. It's like it was escaping me. Thank I you. I couldn't think of it either. Um, and uh, this image, one for one, just looks like a really freaking cool in cap. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, Mattel had a great one for Motu Origins when it first dropped about a year, two years ago, or whatever it was. And uh, you know, Infinite Space J would have stolen one of those and put it in his room, but I don't have space for it. <laughs> this one look it's got like full size superpowers batman superman on there mm, and that that superpower is blue oh, oh, it's good. perfect so there's plenty of these that's exciting even though my the bright creek walmart unless they sold them all i just haven't been able to find them there but i assume i'll run into them eventually mm-hmm. but on the lower level of this we got our first looks at our next figure, which again, it's not even officially announced. Um, Green Lantern, John Stewart. John, what do you think about Man. this? It looks awesome. It's is is this what's gonna is, is this what's gonna happen now? Whereas <laughs> McFarlane, you know, like the the figures just show up. And yeah. then a month later, he officially announces it on, on right. his Instagram <laughs> where, you know, it's, it's literally in our collections already where we've played with them for a month and then he comes right. out and, and he has his official announcement. Right. <laughs> but then on, you know, that's, that's for this stuff. We, we already knew that bats soups, uh, dark side and the two vehicles were coming from the mm-hmm. leak list. And then there was a second leaked list that had John Stewart on there. Yep. And, um, there was another Batman, right? I mm-hmm. think. Yeah. So I think once all those are out in circulation, the next wave we'll probably see before we even read about it, mm-hmm. see it on uh, on any announcements. It'll just show up. 
because that's what's happening with all of McFarlane's other figures. They're mm -hmm. just there. It is. It's kind of like yeah. meeting a kid again and going into the store and it's yes. like there's new there's new toys. Brand new. Exactly. I didn't even know this was happening. You know, I kind of wish I, I, you know, didn't see this picture of it. And it was just like walking in to a store to your point, like, holy crap, new toys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody messing with me. Is this Photoshop? <laughs> Is this fake? <laughs> because, yeah, it's uh, it is absolutely. Um, it, it, I just it, it's just it is of the old era. Um, but I love that it's John Stewart. Uh, anybody loves Justice League Unlimited, the the the, the Bruce Tim Fantastic series. Mm -hmm. um, I think for a lot of people, he's like the favorite Green Lantern. Um, at least in the Discord today, there's also just a lot of love uh, for for Jay Stu. Um, and uh, I'm excited for this. I I, I really am. I'm hey, super excited. Oh, he's this hot guy. Everybody hates Guy Gardner. Poor Guy Gardner. I don't know why. Isn't uh Ralph's favorite guy? No, his is uh um what's the the young one, the replacement for Hal Jordan? Um Kyle. Kyle, thank you. Kyle Rainer. Kyle Rainer's his favorite. <laughs> the other Jace do indeed. <laughs> 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 um one dar please uh we're at 343 getting there those likes coming in we're getting close we're Still getting got some close. time there's 450 people watching right now so uh so get in yeah kyle rayner just gotta reach down and hit that like button just gotta i know a lot of you have already a lot of you become members today i'm loving to see there's uh there, I, they let me do four emojis i think now that there's more members they'll let me do more emojis mm -hmm. but there's a kevin emoji with slapping his face uh but this stupid uh streamer i think doesn't plus it in but anyways if you're watching it live in the chat you can see it. it's pretty cool anyway yeah 452 hit that like button giving away one dar that'll be giving away two one dars all the patrons will be entered as well yeah get your granny to lock it <laughs> but I, I i'm really pumped for this i still haven't gotten the full you know punch in the face of superpowers yet mm -hmm. i'm super excited for this I can't but, but having this in hand, I'm just I'm I am really excited. The bubble is too big. The card's probably a, nah, the card's probably the right size. I haven't compared them yet. Once I get them all, once I get Superman, Dark Side, Batman, the Batwing, and Supermobile, I'll, I'll get to work on making a video about it. Um, but uh, it's just you know I don't know, just something about them. They're ten it's, bucks. It's so nostalgic too. Yeah, and even though they're not they're not perfect recreations of superpowers figures. I don't know, man. It's just like. 10 dollars for all of this just feels good. It feels like we're taking advantage. We're winning here. I know. And how often does that happen in, in the toy world, right? But Never. Yeah. Just just look behind <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So um pumped for that. I will say if somebody does win the one dar that's or anybody that wins out of country i will ask that you pay whatever the shipping is if it's in the states i'll pay shipping but if it's out of states i probably need we'll probably need help with that <laughs> <laughs> just as an fyi uh so if you're out of the country you could definitely enter but definitely you will have to pay for shipping i got his stinks to buy <laughs> <laughs> uh we're 373 on the like there 373 oh wow we're really oh. close we're less than oh less than 24 now 376 if we hit 400 i'll give away two wonders right the patrons are already getting a chance to win one and then i'll give anybody else a chance to win one um so we're getting there we're getting there people okay so really pumped for this really really pumped um something i'm not so pumped about because this, I think, was at a Walmart, is Walmart shipping strikes again. John, have you been seeing everybody's images of the retro classified G.I. Joe figures mm -hmm. um, being delivered? Yep. It's and, uh, terrible. It's terrible. Ter oh, we're 392. Holy mo this is We're already setting records on Toy Geeks tonight. 
And uh, th- this is already a record 392, but if we hit 400, 393, giving away one dart tonight. But uh, Chris Esposito, who is a patron, and I think maybe a, a family member. <laughs> this was an image of his Baroness that, that oh, he cut today. What um, is going on? Whoa, 402, we did it! Okay, we're going to give away two Wondars, one to our patrons and one to everybody else. Patrons can also join that as well, so you could like double your odds if you want to. Uh, I think that's perfectly fine. Um, so I, I will put the link in the chat right now. Just uh, enter your name. Enter your name, and uh, and I will put every single name. I'll put it right now in the chat. So you just go there and put in your name, whether it's your name or your uh, your handle. That's fine. Um, I'm not collecting emails or anything. And, uh, and uh, yeah, just I guess you have to be here to watch it happen, be given away. And then, you know, hit me up on instagram or email or something and i'll, I'll get it to you colleen colleen cannot win the wonder <laughs> uh, already got 22 people 33 people have entered for the second wonder giveaway so congratulations 412 likes this is incredible incredible but what's not incredible is is how so many people's uh gi joe's just getting mangled uh being shipped in bags Mm -hmm. um just across the board just awful 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 um but this was egregious like this looks like somebody intentionally beat the crap out of it yeah and i i wouldn't be surprised if it went into the bag that way it got packed in the bag just like that i mean do you, do you do you really think that the uh, the people that are packaging these figures are in that great of a mood where they'll <laughs> take any more care than they need to? I, I I guess I just like this is the back of that card. I just don't see. So I don't know how you do that much damage even in a bag unless you just like put it under a bunch of boxes and it got smashed. Mm-hmm. Oh, we got a new uh, member here, Shiny Plastic People. Thank you for becoming a member, Shiny Plastic. But, uh, yeah, I... Ooh. Are are these only online? Will these ever show up in stores? That I mean, that's the thing. Like, there's just this element of... Uh, oh, uh, new patron, Baron Cars. You got me, boys. I am now a patron. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Aaron for becoming a patron today. I think we're then going to be pretty close to 200. I think we were at 186 before we started this. And uh, we have a few more patrons. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or so. Um, so that means I think we're like eight away from 200, which is pretty awesome. Yep. Um, but uh, maybe FedEx is probably... Well, here's the thing. Um... I don't. I just. There's. They're just not packing them right. They're putting them in too small a box and smushing them. Mm-hmm. Um. I, I, the, sure, the cards may be thin, but I. It's just. They just don't care. They don't care. They haven't cared for a while. No. And the, I mean that's the. That's the problem we'll have to deal with with ordering from. Any any online retailer that isn't mm-hmm. a, a toy, specialty place like Big Bad or Entertainment Earth. Yeah. Even when we order from Amazon and it comes in a box, sometimes the box is so big, mm-hmm. the piece that you order it gets banged around in there. And there was plenty yeah. of space in there, but True. now it's just, it's full of air and opportunity and it's just banging mm-hmm. around in there. Yeah. So whether it's shipped in a bag, shipped in a box, it's the, the vendor is the problem. Yeah. Agreed. I agree. Um, David did a super sticker. Thank you so much, David, for that. And nacho cheese join Patreon. How do I enter for one dart? That's all you gotta do is as long as you're a patron, I'll, I'll put you in there. So patrons will be double entered. Uh, if you do also do the normal public entry. Uh, and then um, so I guess uh yeah. So thank you for becoming a patron and a five dollar super chat. Nacho cheese, thank you so much. Uh, we'll see you at the after show after this. But um, but yeah, I think uh we will see. Uh, see, uh, uh, my death show and gun look like they battled out. Like, there's very few people that I think got good ones 
shipped and and i assume they'll be available at retail so i think you know mm -hmm. that's that's why i'm done i'm done ordering online or doing these pre-orders online with walmart or target walmart they don't give a crap about the figure so it's a 50 50 chance maybe even less that it gets mm -hmm. destroyed or target they just keep repinging your credit card non-stop until it delivers yeah or yeah, they just don't give it to you so like mm -hmm. i'm done i don't do it yeah i'm over the i'm over it the it's either that the or cancellation and then in the time that you got your order canceled you've already found it somewhere else and you didn't pick it up because you had pre-ordered it yeah i mean pre-ordering just sucks yeah. just face the let's face it yeah no i agree i agree um yeah it's uh it's no good no bueno oh uh, yeah i guess yeah matt harris was in a box and still looked beat up and maybe mm. they're just getting beat up out of the box i don't know maybe they're just smashing them intentionally before they put them in the box like you said john mm -hmm. that could be it well um one other thing is when the the walmart like the the mailing center mm -hmm. when they get the case of the figures in that case could already be smashed whereas like when i went to w my walmart um when the superpowers waves were hitting all of the dark sides were destroyed like the packages were garbage mm -hmm. but then all the soups were good and all the bats were good yeah and then i asked the guy that was there um that i see you know almost every day yep uh that stocks the shelves and he said well the you know the case was that's how i got the case you know because it's on the bottom of the pallet you know and it's like mm -hmm. on top of that is 60 pounds of toys smushing you know uh, a box that's only rated for 10 pounds of, of crush weight mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's a good point that's a really good point so maybe it's not walmart's art maybe it's the shipper box or however they're sending these things in because mm -hmm. it's brutal and maybe they put it in a bag was like oh, it's already jacked up so we'll just throw it right in <laughs> Um, Tyridium Hanger, I don't, uh, it may have gone by too much now, but he did ask, does it, is this just like as a pro seller, John? Mm -hmm. And, and you are some, the best packaging I think I've ever seen of a, of a toy before has been when you have shipped it. Um, does it really, does this really grinds your gears? <laughs> it grinds my gears. You know what really grinds my gears? It, <laughs> it does. It does. I put I put in a lot of time into uh, shipping my boxes, and mm -hmm. I make sure ninety nine percent of all the boxes I use are brand new. Yep. Mm -hmm. Not this isn't a reuse Amazon. No, box. this is I I do that very seldom. Yeah. I want to make sure it gets there. What you ordered is what's arriving. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um. Tony, $5 super chat. Thank you. Hey, Jay and John, have you heard of Operation Recall and Kickstarter new earning figures from the Journal G.I. Joe, uh, a real American hero team? I have. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I love all the new O-ring stuff, especially on the Kickstarter side of things. John, what's your thoughts? Yeah, they look they like they were pulled out of the 80s. They, they look great. They look better than, you know, any of the other o-ring figures the knockoffs like yeah. you know um remco or mm -hmm. uh the core you know yeah. they're they're really doing a, a great job with those ones yeah yeah i agreed um and uh yeah i think it's really exciting and i think uh who said they order these on pulse so at least uh and, and big big bad toy store even when it's like you don't pay for the minty mint versions uh they still ship them really well and i think ee as well mm -hmm. they do a really good job so you know i i it's and yeah a politically pro cat that's a great name uh thankfully uh, i was able to pre-order them on pulse yeah i have to wait but i know they'll ship in a box yeah it's true yep um Oliver, my cousin Pete plans to buy classified. He asked me, are G.I. Joe classified figures better to buy in box or retro card backs? Well, uh, I would say <laughs> retro card backs, I think they're cooler, but the, clearly no one can get them clean. So I don't know. <laughs> John, what's your thoughts? Yeah, it's um, well, it depends. Is Are they going to keep them sealed? They, they don't want them loose. 
um, the retro card back figures are are more retro uh, paint styles or mm-hmm. retro designs themselves. Whereas you know, like the Baroness, the retro back card back Baroness is different than the regular classified Baroness that came with the coil bike. Mm-hmm. So you know, gonna have to figure out which style you're looking for. Yeah. Um. Let's see, uh, Mike Traverso, $5 super chat. Where's the hate from minimum wages workers coming from? They're just toys. Where anyways, no, or is it the principal? Well, no, I, one, I think we've all, and maybe this is in the chat, maybe he's calling out, but I think we've always been very much, don't give a hard time to the workers. It's not their fault. No, no. Um, this, is a, this is a policy problem, right? Whether it's the delivery of them gets jacked mm-hmm. or, or um, the practice... That is not the employees, whatever, unless they're being told otherwise. Um, it should just be a policy. It should just be mm-hmm. a policy thing, not a, not a personnel thing. Because no. you're right. Like it, and whether they work minimum wage or not, whatever you work, whatever you get paid, um, no one deserves uh, to be treated like crap. Uh, having been a we- retail worker myself for many years, uh, it sucks. People can suck. So mm-hmm. you're 100% right, Michael. There shouldn't be hate being thrown towards the people doing it. Um, but it seems like something's going on. That This is an extreme case where people that do want to mock, I don't care personally. I'm going to open them anyway. But uh, they're getting pretty beat up. Um, and, and and I agree. I think there's if you are a mock collector, if you're mint on card collector, um, you're going to want one that's not beat up. Um, but I, I will say, the for update styles and collecting Super 7 line for the Sumbo designs, I gotta say, John, this aside from my broken backpack, which apparently mm-hmm. happened to multiple people on YouTube. Yeah, so after good. after watching your video and seeing the uh that that canister break, mm-hmm. it I mean the, the plastic on it, it looked cheap just seeing it in the video, just the plastic on the canister. Yep. And this too, the backpack too. I don't know what they were thinking with this this plastic on the backpack. But it's such an odd way to attach it. Like, why not just put a peg hole in the back? Yeah. It's a flaw. The figure itself is really good, though. Mm -hmm. So this makes me think, like, was this like a rush thing because they wanted it at Comic-Con and they just kind of went cheap on that? I I don't know. But the figure itself is incredible. Like, And so I'm now I'm like, well, do I wait? I think I'm just going to wait to see if they sell for cheaper secondary. Mm -hmm. But they are really good. Where I was not going to get any of the Ultimates G.I. Joes, I'm definitely, I think I'm going to get a few. Even though they don't scale with Classified whatsoever. No, no. I was hoping they would a little bit because that Destro looks great. But yeah, seeing uh, the two bats next to each other. I mean, it's hey, like that little kid. Bat and Bat Jr. Big <laughs> yeah. time. It might have been like Hasbro. I was like, you better not even scale this thing close to classify. <laughs> or we're pulling the license. <laughs> <laughs> Hurt so bad, though. Another super chat here from Baron Cars. I think it's all shipping services. I've been negligent. Got my Mezco pink skulls. The FedEx driver must have drug against or grudge against Mez. My box got RKO'd. Good Lord. Goodness Look, gracious. Hey, I, I drove UPS for a few years. Mm hmm. When when your truck is loaded, it already looks like a bomb went off in there. Mm-hmm. Anything small is on is on the racks. All the big stuff is on the floor. Mm-hmm. And when you get in that thing in the morning, it's a disaster. Like yeah, it it's a it's a wonder that more things like outside of toys, collectibles, just things we receive mm-hmm. uh, from delivery services. It's a wonder more of it isn't destroyed. Yeah. That's okay. That's a good call. I mean, you you've seen it with your own eyes. Mm-hmm. Um, Space Cowboy, thank you for the sticker, uh, good sir. And um, and yeah, I uh, it, it, we'll have to wait and see. I, I I don't know. I don't know. If there's a solution if it's a shippers or whatever. It's a bummer for those that want it mock. But again, I think that to me, it's just like just don't. Walmart's more than any other. It seems to be having this issue. So, you know, I think it's just don't pre-order from Walmart. Yeah. Just avoid it. Just avoid it. Um, All right. I, I think we wanted to do another shout out for uh, it's Operation Recall, right? I at least want to because I believe it goes out on um, next Saturday. So uh, Tony also wanted to to make sure 
uh, we we shout it out officially here it's on kickstarter gonna share my screen real quick but you got the original uh from i think uh, toy connection said uh sunday the 7th so next sunday all right so at least through next toy geeks um but already we're already over the goal but i'm sure they could usually john you know how these things work they'll usually be a little bit under probably where they really want to be just mm -hmm. if it gets funded yep um so uh always good to get more um to make sure it's successful and awesome. you got you got legit people uh working on this so um so yeah operation recall on kickstarter thank you for the shot there tony all right 500 likes and five, batman and one dollar santa j <laughs> oh my god Oh, here, 480,000 unlocks all 19 characters in the all-in package. Well, there you go. Wow. So they're halfway to that, thereabouts. Mm -hmm. Week left. Unlock it, people. Um, uh, Mike, no talk of Ghost Rider speculation? Or, yeah, it was at the top of the episode uh, with Toy Geeks. Usually the top of the episode, whatever the thumbnail is, will be top of the episode. And then we'll, we'll hit on some other uh, news items as we go on. Depending on the topic, like last week's topic, it was just we had three hours to talk about Comic Con stuff. <laughs> Alpha Max, thank you so much for the super sticker. Um, oh, anyone going to PowerCon? I think it's a good thing to talk about before we go to Stump John. Uh, but uh, I don't think John and I will be able to pull off the PowerCon uh, next week. Um, so uh, we will not be there. But if anybody is going to be there, feel free to to take pictures send them in we'll we'll share them on uh the toy geeks next sunday yeah um if you want to be our on the field reporter uh let us know <laughs> uh send an email to uh geek dad life at gmail.com if you want to be a on the field reporter at powercon um but maybe next year john maybe next year we can swing uh the powercon i i will say it's really tough being two weeks after comic-con yeah i mean that that definitely um but there's been so many like i i have bought so much like i i honestly i can't afford <laughs> any any trips anywhere yeah i already i already took uh 10 days off at the beginning of the month yeah there's just power con or <laughs> they, they need a longer break from the end of san diego mm -hmm. to another big con like yep. It needs to be just like an unwritten rule. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because <laughs> I, I there was a convention in Raleigh this week, which apparently the air conditioning wasn't working. Really? Uh, a friend of the show, Gary, uh, is working there this weekend. Mm -hmm. Crow Mag's there. And, uh, but yeah, I was just like, I have no energy whatsoever. Like, I'm still gassed from Comic Con. I'm still recovering from Comic Con. And uh, definitely wasn't going to go this weekend. And then just next week, it's just like, ah, there's just no way. There's no way. Um, Maybe next year if they if they if they space it out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but anyways, we will cover it here. Whatever announcements are made, we will cover it uh, on next week's Toy Geeks. Alpha Magnus became a YouTube member. GDL family. Oh, I gotta get that family, but family, <laughs> family. <laughs> um, PowerCon is not. It's in uh, as far as I know. PowerCon is in Columbus, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Um. And uh, yeah, oh, I guess new Andor trailer. So I will probably do a Screen Geeks on GDL too. Uh, if you have not uh, signed up for that yet, okay. Um, John, we'll do a stump John, and then we will give away our two one dars. That's right. Again, uh, let me post the link to the old. Oh wait, no, not that one. That won't work. Hold on, shorten URL, copy, send it again. Yeah, if you're in Ohio, definitely go because. You know, when it was in L.A., it's a great toy show. It's a really good toy show. Uh, but go yeah. ahead, uh, put your name in this form. We've already got 143 people that have entered. Uh, no purchase necessary. Just put your name in there. And I'm not we're keeping emails or anything, so I'm not going to sell them or anything. Just giving away, <laughs> just giving away a Wanda. <laughs> Monkey Jeebus, welcome to the family. <laughs> uh, and uh, if you don't know what this stuff is, becoming a member... 
Uh, it's a new thing uh, started this week on the channel. This not just the live streams, but this is on. It's not just the live streams, women and children too. Um, but uh, you can become a pa uh, not a. This is beyond Patreon. Uh, a member, you just click join, and uh, for ninety nine cents, you get a little loyalty badge next to your name. You can use custom emojis, and you get an exclusive. Uh, highlighted message to do in a live chat once a month it's kind of cool for 99 cents it's practically free it's practically, practically free practically giving it to you mike stanton thank you so much <laughs> welcome to the family all right john it's time it's you've had a few weeks it's, off my friend i'm gonna be rusty you, you've had a few weeks off um and uh, I mean, there's a cut. We've had a few stump John submissions, so I'm trying. I'm going to do this one from Phil Barker here. So let me set it up real quick. It's going to be. Uh, let me see how many actual accessories it is. Hold on. Let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five. I think five accessories. Okay. And let me make sure I pull up the actual images of everything. The only problem is the the way he attached the images, they're like gigantic, um, at least on the computer. <laughs> but uh, all right, John, are you ready? Oh, Mike Hex, welcome, welcome to the family. That's a horrible <laughs> minute, Diesel. Uh, but you know, there's a, I just put a Google form. I see if the link still is saved in my copy and paste. Uh, and uh, you put your name in there to enter in to win a one dar. It's totally free, ninety nine. But if you're out of the country, you gotta pay the shipping. I can't just again. I got I got his tank to buy. I got Thunder tanks apparently. Kids going to college. Kids going to college. I mean, I, my youngest is still in like pre-K, which is an insane amount of money. <laughs> when you hear your family, <laughs> one of us, one of us. Oh my god! All right. So let me, uh, let's get this going. You ready, John? It's been a minute. Ready. Right. I'm ready. No more, no more pussy footing around this. There we go. There we go. Okay. I haven't, I haven't played the music in a while. Do you remember the, do you remember the words? <laughs> it's that time again. It's time to test John on his knowledge of all things action figures. Yes. He claims to be the foremost I don't know, person that knows things about accessories. <laughs> and we like to challenge him on it in a segment we call Stump John. So everybody, everywhere, all around the world, it's time to do what? It's time to stop that show. I think I heard someone. <laughs> you did? <laughs> yeah, say Stump That John all around the world. <laughs> I was like, is there a special guest going to join you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, Marco! Welcome, welcome to the family. Uh, uh, expert J, the word is expert. <laughs> I say expert. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Sorry, comics. Uh, the breadsticks would go great with dinner. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be cool? Maybe I should. Maybe the little tag should be breadsticks. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Okay. Everybody says it. Everybody says it at home, which is the important thing. Uh, I like Tiger. <laughs> I like big stumps, <laughs> and I cannot lie. Oh my goodness! Um, all right, let me make sh let me make this small because I can't see it. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna. They're all in one image, John. Okay. Okay. So that may is maybe easier or not easier. I do not know. Let me make sure I have. That. There we go. Okay. Do you do you know any of them? I didn't know a single one. Oh boy, that's which that's... means I don't think there's any vintage on this one. Uh, no. Uh oh, uh oh. Sorry, we got we got sex bots. Hold on, <laughs> gotta block the user. <laughs> hey, it's been a while since we've had the sex bots. It, it has. They must have been busy. Must have been busy. Um, I don't think Col I did it, Nick. Uh, but Colleen is amazing. Let's give a shout out to Colleen. She is amazing. MVP. Um, <laughs> love chat. <laughs> is that the loophole? <laughs> Colleen did it. Okay, I thought I did it. Then you did it, Colleen. You're the best. I love you so much. 
Anywho's. Um, John, you ready? Here we go. Let's not waste any more time. We've got to end this show. I got a show to do after this one. What? <laughs> uh, first off, I don't know any of these. Okay. They all look way modern. They're pretty mo they're pretty modern. This this, this was this was like intentionally uh intentionally rough. I mean that the uh the armor piece it kind of looks like the CGI beast man armor. Mhm. Mm but I don't think it is. It's not. I don't know any of that any at all. I don't this even not, have a guess. Not even a guess? No. <laughs> Michael Miller. Staff, bone, sword, microphone, and shield thing. Boom. Boom. Roasted. <laughs> <sighs> I got I got nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Um all right. Well, uh, do, 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 or he's going to say it's a total, it's a stump, it's, John. It's you're a, it's completely a to stumped? total stumping. Okay. 100% stumping. Don't you want to fancy a guess? <sighs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out on this one. Okay. I, this was a toughie because they're all modern. Uh, so here we go. Uh, let me let me close these out so I can actually. Is it is there anything here that you know or think that I collect? Mm, nope. Okay. May, may may maybe some of these accessories, but I don't think so. Some people have gotten them right in the chat. I will say that. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I have the chat turned off, so can't even can't even see any of the guesses. Yeah. All right. What what are they? Okay. But it is an official stumpage. You stumped. All right, let me pull it up now. First step. Oh, wouldn't have gotten is him. the uh Yuzon Vong Appen Saf from a Star Wars comic two pack. Mm hmm Did you know that? I I'd never seen no, this. No, wouldn't have gotten that. Yeah. I've had that figure once. Um, next up, Plunderlings. Nope. Bone is from Plunderings. Bone up top is from Plunderings. Yep. This, uh, some people got that one in the chat. Uh, next up, microphones from April O'Neil, the Power Rangers. <laughs> nope. I, I wouldn't have gotten that one either. Uh, and then next up, uh, is from the chest plate that you thought was uh, Beast Man. Mm -hmm. uh, is from Transformers Prime Beast Hunter Shockwave. Nope. I don't. I don't feel bad about these. <laughs> and then, last but not least, is a lightsaber. Uh. Uh, Star Wars comic two pack for the Dark Woman. It didn't even look like a lightsaber. It looked like a it looked like a painted silver blade. Let's in the, in the first photo. But let's look at this hilt just for a second. That's I fancy. Think, I don't, I don't think that's I don't think that's uh, kid appropriate. <laughs> that's not Disney canon. That's not that's not Disney canon. <laughs> I mean, um, they did they did just add deadpool to disney plus they did they did starting to dip their toe in the dirty end <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway uh john you got officially stumped i'm sorry my friend it's okay it's okay i don't feel bad about that one that was a tough one that was a tough one um all right without any i think it's time john i think it's time to do some giveaways yep uh we have 215 <laughs> responses uh, I'll do the patrons uh, first, um, but uh, to give people just and if you want to become a patron, become it now just so you can um, get the pre-filled link. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want send pre-filled link. I want to shorten it. Let's copy. I'll put the link in one more time. 
you haven't put your name in yet for the free one dar, do it. Uh, so that way you can get, I've got 215 entries on that, which is insane. Um, and I'm going to pull up the Patreon real quick. So we can give that away. Um, but thank you for everybody that is a patron to this channel. Uh, it is for five bucks. You get, uh, hopefully I feel like a good value. You get access to our exclusive uh, podcast feed. So every single live stream that we do, you get an exclusive Patreon feed that gives you the audio to every single live stream. Not just on Geek Dad Life, but Geek Dad Life too. So any of the stuff we do for TV shows, any of the toy stuff is going to be on Geek Pod Life. You get that. You also get access to our After Dark show, which tonight, after this, it's going to be If I Had a Billion Dollars with the uh, the crazy $1.28 billion Mega Millions. Had me thinking about what what stupid toy purchases would I make for a billion? So, John, we can share maybe what uh, insane purchases we would make. That'll be the after show. We'll also share some, share some toy hauls as well. Um, and then you get your name in the credits of every upload. Um, and then you also get entered into uh, these sweet these sweet raffles. We have 196 patrons, only four away from 200, which is incredible. Um, so uh, if you haven't become a patron, consider becoming a patron. It helps the channel grow. Uh, the, the reviews you love seeing on this channel, I've been able to do more on this channel since the Patreon because I've had funds to, to buy more stuff to do uh, videos about. Uh, haven't figured out how to get room for any of this stuff, but at least I've been able to do more stuff. <laughs> Channel. um all right so let me uh now that i've uh, talked a long enough time to copy and paste every single one of these 196 uh patrons i'm then going to put it into a oh darn it where'd it go safari there you are was it it's wheel of names right is that what it is i think wheel of names i think that's pretty yeah I stole this from yes, have some. So, uh, if oh, it's, it's fine, it's fine. We're friends. We're, fr we're friends. <laughs> they, they let oh. us borrow it. All right. So we have 196 entries of our patrons. Again, thank you to all of our patrons. And uh, what one of our lucky patrons will win is a one dar. Um. So uh, definitely. Uh, uh, Thank you to our patrons, and you'll win this sweet wonder. Not even open from the shipper case yet. John, should we spin it? Do it. All right, here we go. Okay, thank you to 196 of our patrons. And it is... 16-bit misfit! Misfit. Hey, there you go. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations, 16-bit. Well earned. Uh, well earned on that one. Uh, congratulations. Congratulations. That's awesome. Um, all right. So that's for our patrons. And now uh, we got to do one more for everybody that's entered. So hopefully if you, if you need to enter, hope, oh, darn, I knocked over my ultimate GI Joe, but it didn't break. <laughs> um, but uh, let's see. Let's, so let's close this one out. Or no, I'll just, I'll, I'll, cop, I'll get all these out of here. Here we go. Delete. Okay. Um, and let me get the Google form. So hopefully you all have filled this out. There's 235 uh, people that have entered. So let me let me turn this into a spreadsheet now, so I can copy and paste them all. 200 and that's an insane amount of people. That is that wheel is gonna be all Hi. cut up. <laughs> Tiny. <laughs> uh, 237. 237. So let me copy and paste that into the wheel. And uh, oh, J J Jamila, if you want to get in, just uh, I'll, I'll put you in right now. Hold on. I'll put you in. I'll put you in. Yeah, I'll put you right here. Boom. <laughs> one of one. <laughs> I'm going to paste the rest now. There we go. <laughs> Whoa! <sighs> oh my god so yeah this this is crazy it's not even spinning did i break it <laughs> i hope it didn't break it 
<laughs> uh, oh, we have some more people that need to be put in. Hold on, hold on. And then I do have to end this at some point. Uh, Eric. Who knows? And uh, let's see. Where's another one in here? David Mahoney. All right. David Mahoney. Wait, that darn it, I put it in here. No, wait, hold on. David Mahoney. Okay. It's too heavy to spin. Hopefully this thing works. Let's try to spin it. Are we ready to spin it? Yep. Here we go. Hit the like button or sub if you haven't yet. Another one dar. Oh, it's spinning. Okay, here we go. Hung so one zero. <laughs> now you do have to be here to claim it. So hung so one oh solo hung so hung solo hung solo. Are you here? Let us know. It's a funny. It's like, it's like you just won the Mega Millions. News if, odds. If not, uh, <laughs> if not, uh, we'll 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 spin it again. Hung solo, are you here? Yeah, because I need like music. I'll uh with yeah, a real I'll, hung uh... solo, please stand up. <laughs> hung solo. <laughs> <laughs> uh what we say ten more seconds? Yep. Ten seconds on the clock. Yeah, we got ten seconds here. I'm gonna get a timer. Timer for 10 seconds. I'm going to put it up now. Are they on? Here we go. Starting 10 seconds. Here we go. Should have been here. Oh. All right. It's not here. Let's do it again. Ready? Whew. Removed. All right. Let's roll it again. Wait, Overman's hunks? Are you really Overman? <laughs> Ray Alonzo. Ray Alonzo. <laughs> are you here? <laughs> wait, so it uh, wait, I'm here. Did you call it no I didn't call Obi-Wan? Wait, who's wait, who's who's Han Solo or Hung Solo? Overman, are you really Hung Solo? Why don't you just do Hung Solo? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> if you can prove to me that you were here hung solo if not it's ray alonzo's uh you have won my friend are you here ray is ray here oh my god did nobody stay <laughs> <laughs> oh man it, yeah is, is hung Al when is, is is hung when hung solo is hung when hung solo if it is then it's hung's <laughs> Ray's here, so uh, hung. Unless you can confirm it was you, my friend. Uh, it's Ray's. Was it hung when? <laughs> hung, you gotta let me know, bud. <laughs> this is tough. But hung, were you hung solo? <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, we'll we'll is hung solo. If it was you, hung when? I don't know why you just wouldn't put hung when on there, but whatever. We'll figure it a. But uh, Ray Alonzo, uh, uh, your name matches. So uh, I missed his message. Where was Hung Solo? Right, we'll figure it out. I'll, I'll look later. I can't see. There's too many to, to find here. <laughs> oh, man. Anywho, he's not. All right. Well, we'll figure it out. Hung, I, we can chat after. It's <laughs> 10 times the winner. Uh, okay. Everybody, that's it. One dar is given away. Uh, Ray and, and Hung Solo, if you, if you come out, I'll, I'll give you the, the superpowers uh, figure. So that way, uh, it is you. Hung when it is you. Okay. 
<laughs> uh, hung, we'll, we'll chat. If it's Hung, then uh, uh, you are here, Hung. I know you are here. Uh, I'll send it to you and, and Ray. Uh, I will give you the superpowers uh, one. But we'll, we'll figure out. We'll talk about it. Um, uh, but anyway, that's it for Toy Geeks. Uh, and uh, we'll see. Yeah, uh, we'll see. You both win. You both will win. We'll take care of it. Uh, don't worry. And uh, until next time, hasta luego and goodbye. See you, everybody, on uh, the After Dark, if you're coming on that, on the Patreon. And um, until next time, uh, we'll see you later. Hasta luego and goodbye. <laughs>